today on Let's Talk, we have a unique guest. We have Seth Spear. Uh, welcome, Seth. Hey, glad to be here. And Seth is unique because he served a, what I guess we would call an interim position on the city council. Yeah, that's uh, what I've made sure to tell people. It was, it it was interim. <laughs> <laughs> that was the plan, huh? Yeah. Well, you stepped up when called upon because we had a city councilman who, who left before left the city before his term ended, and when that happens, the law requires, uh, if it's less than two years, uh, that that the city council uh, vote on a replacement. It uh, it would be a a part of the general election if there were more than two years remaining on the the, the term. So, in this case, Seth. Uh, volunteered to come sit on the council uh, for what, how long was it Seth, four months? Yeah, I think three and a half, four months. Three yeah, and a half yeah. to four months yeah. before, the, before the next election yeah. cycle. And in doing so, that really made him ineligible to run. It to, was for past, the the yeah, yeah, it was past the point where I could put my name in there. Oh, I got but, you. Yeah, okay, yeah, so yeah. it was just, it was, it was beyond the opportunity to stay. Yeah. So, um, Tell me what you what you thought about it going in, and and what you think about it looking back. Uh, it's kind of funny because I thought I could just get in there and do something, mm -hmm. and that's that's not really how it works. <laughs> it's more of a a job, and so, I mean, I took it, and I'm glad I did. I just tried to do the best I could in the short amount of time I was there. Absolutely, and, and I think everybody appreciated you, but. I want you to go into that, you know, you thought you were going to do something and, and you found the, the difficulties. Explain what that means, because I think what you're getting at is that the, the, the wheels of government turn slowly, but, but explain yeah, in your words. Yeah, I guess there's, um, there's periods of proactiveness and there's periods of uh, just doing what's in front of you. And I think that's kind of maybe the hard part about city government is you've got so many fires you're constantly putting out that it's sometimes it's hard to look forward. And then even just thinking forward, a lot of stuff's already in motion for the next couple of years, so it's just really staggered and wild. Right. It's all just all over the place. That's right, and there are there are things that have been partially voted on, uh, and and then have to be funded later because government does not operate like business. You right. have to count on future yep. sales tax receipts, grants. Yes. You know, it, it, there's a lot to juggle there, yeah. and and you saw that and is there how would you fix it <laughs> at least this problem <laughs> fix it i mean it's for me it, the hardest hardest part about any operating system really is just communication and i don't think the city of any by any means had bad communication it was just with 12 people who have full-time jobs coming together once every now and then to talk about things it was hard to and then you know you're not supposed to like share your vote or any of that stuff it was kind of hard to really hammer things out i guess it right. was just kind of a vote and so I guess to fix it I mean you would find a way to talk a little more Did a little you, more communication right and you know you I think those things uh, sometimes uh, we take for granted as as uh, leaders that the people understand the whole thing because you can read the terms of a proposed ordinance and not know the intent yep. sometimes and I think that sometimes I've had to deal with people who misunderstood or you know and, and you don't want to uh, give the even give the impression that you're trying to hide anything but a lot of people will read into something and come to a different conclusion based on that lack of information there sometimes yeah and then you always have to think you can't think small like whatever's happening is gonna affect other you know like you've got to think how is this gonna knock the dominoes down so to speak so it's it's really like the macro and the micro are both you got to keep them both in mind constantly and you know it's funny because I see the mayor the directors the all the leadership always talk about uh, the unintended consequences of their good intentions you know <laughs> yeah. and there, I think there's that is something that only experience can help you weigh and then sometimes even that doesn't necessarily pay off but but did you find that you were aware enough of the things that when you when you had to vote, did, were, did you get transparency, in other words, about the things that you dealt with? Yeah, definitely. I mean, the door was always open, and I think if there was one thing I could say to 
the people of Jonesboro is finding out information isn't hard. <laughs> like, you just sometimes have to ask for it. And that was right. just the case there, too. I mean, sure, you got, you got the, the detail list and you could read it all, but it's not hard to ask a question. And I think maybe there's, it's, it was easy to be timid and it was hard to not be. So getting past that was probably phase one, I would say. And once you're past that, you can, I mean, you could do anything at that point right. once you were willing to speak. That's a good point. Yeah. Well, yeah. So and so, walk through the whole role of your job. I mean, you get a you, you get a packet. You get you're prepared. When when do you receive information about your next meeting? Uh, fr we get the agenda Friday before the Tuesday. Okay. So we had weekend Monday and, and even Thursday. Okay. Yeah. So. And what is included in all that? Everything we're going to vote on all the details everything so okay so it will it will explain more than than just what's on the uh, the itinerary it, you'll have a more in-depth yes. yes it's detailed understanding yes. Yes. okay yeah and then you people will come and ask questions and uh you you'll listen to anything that somebody has to say yeah and then i wouldn't if there was a takeaway um while there's not a ton on each or you know each tuesday there's we're like we're a call away I mean our, our we were I was but yeah, everyone's yeah. a call away and I only got I think three messages in my four month stint so I was like just from regular citizens yeah I was kind of okay. bummed I was like I was ready you know <laughs> I was ready to get my hands dirty and help you know do what I could but I mean it is it, what it is and and you know some people uh the like the rumor mill they the things go through the rumor mill and that's that way with any job or any anything so right. it's not unusual in that but but we would like to get the word, the, the actual honest uh, understanding of what's going on out to the people more. What, what do you think is the way to, for people to find the answers they need? Hmm. I mean, step one, I mean, there's 12 councilmen who all have direct access to everything if they don't already know it themselves. And I mean, not just saying this i've you know met them all worked with them all now they're extremely accessible and happy to talk about it like i mean I, that's one thing i was astounded by is these people have full-time jobs in most cases and yet they're willing to spend i mean countless hours on this job job you yeah. know public service as well so i mean i i was happy to talk to people i mean i mean i 90% of the time I had no idea the answer <laughs> because I was I was a month in but I mean everyone else all 11 of the others they knew the answer and I that was a safety net for me to lean on them that's great yeah, yeah. Well, and you know <clears throat> to your point um, I moved here uh, going on seven years ago and and I saw 12 council members and that's more than any city I've lived in and I thought that was a lot to keep up with but after you get to know them, you realize that, that Jonesboro is a passion for all of them. And they all, you know, uh, want, the, and they may have different opinions, but they have the same end goal to serve Jonesboro. And that's pretty, it's easy to admire that. I, th I think politics in a nutshell, if you can respect, especially on a city level, that basically everybody wants the same end goal. It's how they get there that's different. I think you can really work together that is the key that's yeah. that that understanding and that trust has to be built in there yeah. but and you found it easy to access that trust with other with oh your peers yeah at the I, time. like i was expecting more politics and mm -hmm. then there was it was just it was, uh, it was just it was just yeah like let's just get it figured out and done properly so the city's in the best shape possible yeah very cool very cool i'm glad to hear that um now has this inspired you to run for office again well, <laughs> I don't, Dr. Right. Coleman, I'm not coming for you. No, I mean, I, I David McLean. <laughs> yeah. Uh, as of right now, no. I mean, I definitely want to stay involved in any way possible, and I'm happy you had me here just so I could kind of dip my toe back in. But I think it's important to just keep your ear, just keep listening. You know, uh, give feedback. You know, ask questions. And then if the need comes, if I see an opportunity, I'm not I'm not close to it. So right. Yeah. As a citizen now, what do you will you uh, respond more uh, promptly? Will you will you act on things that you see out in the public by calling your your council? I, I would say so. I I haven't practiced what I've preached yet. I mean, I've I have correspondence still with some council members, and maybe that kind of creates that right just uh, naturally, but. 
Yeah, I mean, I definitely, I don't have any hesitation now, that's for sure. Like, I don't mind. Like, I think that was that's what really helped, and that's one of the main things I learned is you, there's, like, there's no getting in trouble for, like, you know, <laughs> asking a question right. or s submitting a request or a response. So, I mean, it's right. just do it. Yeah. Now, did you ever contact the mayor? Did you did you get in, w or the administration? Did you deal with them? Prior much? to or while I was? During, the, during your time? Yeah, I had a couple of meetings with the mayor just okay. to talk things over. And we had, you know, we had some, some uh, planning meetings and that sort of things that I was a part of. So yeah, that was that was cool. Okay, and and any of the departments? Did you, did you ever not deal with so any much of those? with the departments? No. Okay, no, okay. Just the mayor's office. Yeah, I just wondered how much. Uh, I mean, I, I work in the office, so I obviously see some things, but I, I, I know that there are some conversations independently with council members. But the law requires that no more than two. Right. Uh, elected council people can be in, right. in a conversation about city government at the same yeah. time. Which which was interesting. Makes it more <laughs> difficult even though it's got good intentions. Yeah, right? it's, a, it's, a weird, it's a weird law because kind of the communication barrier there is how do you get everybody on the same page if you can only talk together one night a week, you know, so it's, you know, it was, it was confusing to work around. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, and that's why I would call it Tuesday Night Live because <laughs> people come in not knowing what the other one's thinking exactly and may have different understandings yeah. of what they're so you have to yeah. talk it out in that yeah. moment yeah and sometimes you know it looks awkward probably to the average person it does to me sometimes it, it I've reached a point where it can be amusing but it's uh, uh, rather than unsettling but 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 it's it's your leaders um, hashing it out right there in real time because they don't I've I've lived in cities where I was very suspicious that Maybe they had a meeting before the meeting yeah. because everything went down really smooth, yeah. you know. And uh, yeah. it's good to be it's good to be unanimous on anything because but but there's just some things you can't be unanimous on. No doubt. I was, yeah, I was always every time a roll you know a vote came up, I was, you know, what's what's gonna <laughs> happen, you know, <laughs> like because you don't know you don't know. Right. Like I can guess, but I didn't even know anybody well enough to really guess. So I mean, it was learning as I went. It was neat. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Is is there um, is there anything that you see that you wish Jonesboro could do? Like if if Seth Spear were were king for a day of Jonesboro, what would you change? Do you have a, th a thought about that? I mean, I've, I'm sure you've thought about a lot of things in this role, and then even though as fleeting as it might have been in in retrospect. Uh, yeah, you put me on the spot there. Uh, king for a day. Well, eliminate the two people at once roll. Uh, that was, that just seemed, <laughs> no. Right. Um, there's, I mean, there's tons of things. I mean, I guess I'm gonna take a, a, the nice approach here. I honestly think things are, seem to be going well. I mean, mm -hmm. and frankly, I'm not smart enough or experienced enough to know really what's better yet. And that's, I realized that pretty quickly, like, I, you know, naivety whatever inexperience i just i was trying to learn but also be confident that i already knew things you know mm -hmm. so i was I, there was things yeah i mean it was going well and i mean i think give me another year and i, I think i could probably you, come up with a better question you can make some better it, better answer for right you. Yeah. yeah and I, I like that though but you know every time you say somebody doesn't have experience, you're also saying we've got some fresh eyes looking at this. For sure. And so that's what, you know, you, you get you get laser focused and or tunnel vision, I guess yeah. is what they would call it. And, yeah. and that's not good. So we always want fresh eyes and we want, uh, we want the Seth Spears of Jonesboro to run for, for city council and other positions in the city. So, you know, we've got, a, there are a lot of elected places that, that you can come to serve and uh, if you had to give advice to someone who thought they might want to run for for an office in the city, what what what's the first thing that comes to mind that you would want to tell them? Definitely go to a couple meetings or listen into a couple meetings and just get familiar with the process because there is a process and it's not just a free free flowing of ideas. It's it is you got to go through procedure and um, get familiar with that and just. But at the same time, just be ready. Don't be timid. I, mean, I think that's one thing I, I maybe have a little regret on is mm -hmm. early on I was, I understood I, it was good for me to listen and learn, but I think I probably had something to offer 
right away, and I w didn't offer it, basically. And that I was, see. yeah, a regret, yeah. Well, you know what? Uh, he was uh, a, a short-term city councilman uh, out of the goodness of his heart. And so maybe we will see Seth Spear again somewhere in, uh, in this, we, Congress. Have you thought about running for Congress? <laughs> Whew. I can barely do the nine to five, so I'm not sure about Congress. Maybe someday. And you know, that's one final point I want to make is that you, you, you talked about the city council members do have nine to five jobs or eight to five or tw 12 to 12. Yeah. But uh, what, is, what is a council member paid for being on the city council? $10,000 a year. 10000 a year. So I think that comes out to, uh, I don't know, we, we've, there's a little joke running around about how much it is a day, but, uh, <laughs> but yeah, it's, it, I mean, it's not charity. It, we do get compensated, but at the same time, and it's a job that you could, you could spend as much time, limitless yeah. amount of time doing it. So it's kind of interesting, that right. dynamic there. Right. So yeah. it's, it's, it's more of a gratuity than a, than a, yeah, pay, I mean, ten thousand dollars is nothing to scoff at, but at the same time, for the you could end up working, you know, you a lot more than ten thousand dollars worth. So, That's yeah. right. So yeah. there is some goodness of the heart in, yeah. in, from yeah. for, the, for this role yeah. right here. Yeah. So, hey, she, he's Seth Spear, and Seth is uh, uh, somebody that I'm proud to meet in in Jonesboro, and I think everybody on the city council agrees with that. So, Seth, thank you for taking time to visit with us yeah. on Let's thanks, Talk Jonesboro. Thanks for having me. And Look forward to seeing you again someday. Me too, Joe. <laughs>